CBS 4's Alyssa Cole joins us with more information you should keep in mind when it comes to staying safe along the coast. Alyssa. Rip currents are fast moving channels of water that can be difficult to spot on shore. And if you're not careful, it could sweep you up in a matter of seconds. Now, throughout hurricane season, the risk of high rip currents across the shoreline increase. According to the National Weather Service, rip currents appear dirty and sometimes choppy or without waves. Meteorologists say if you get caught in one, don't panic, remain calm. Unfortunately, the rip current is pulling you away, so most people still panic because they, 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 they're not able to, to make any progress swimming back towards the, towards the beach. And so that's where a lot of people uh, unfortunately drown because they, they tire out and are not able to swim back. Experts say all you have to do is swim out of the rip current and parallel to the beach. Once you're far enough from the current, you can start swimming back towards shore. If you can't handle the swim back, use both arms to wave at a lifeguard to call for help. According to SPI Ocean Rescue, there will always be a flag on the beach to indicate if there's a high risk of rip current. So be sure to look out for red or yellow flags that indicates moderate to dangerous water conditions. But for now, live at South Padre Island with complete valley coverage, Alyssa Cole, CBS4 Valley this morning.